Well, good morning and welcome to this week's pet pairing. I'm going to start doing my makeup and chatting with you. Guys, I don't think my mega mothership is going to arrive on time. I really do think that it's probably going to arrive on the day that I'm traveling to my congress. I'm going to a congress for three days next week, Tuesday through Friday. And unfortunately, I have the feeling that since they have not yet shipped it, even if they ship it best case scenario tomorrow, chances are still very high that it will come in on Tuesday when I am already gone. Nobody's going to lose sleep over my review coming a few days later, but I'm just going to warn you that unfortunately even with the express shipping, it doesn't seem likely that I will be able to showcase the palette before one and a half week from now. This was by the way my 24 Accent Eye Base from MAC, which is what I always use as my eyeshadow primer. I'm taking my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. If you will excuse me, I think our charming orange intruder is back. Okay you guys, my Pat McGrath Mega Mothership woos are nothing compared to my cat woos. So you've seen the charming orange intruder because he did come to visit once when I was filming and he's actually on video somewhere on my channel in one of my recent pet pairing videos. So you can even catch a glimpse of him. He's this neighborhood uh, male orange cat who relatively recently was allowed to uh, go out together with his sister. He's gorgeous and he's so friendly and I just... I want to adopt them all, okay? If it was up to me, we would be one big happy family. But as it is, cats don't quite feel the same about other cats visiting their house. And when he comes in here, he's not aggressive to the ladies, but he does, you know, go and try to be close to Lisa in particular. And she's a territorial little lady, so she always, of course, snaps back, because it's also her house. Now he's figured out where our kitty door is and he just helps himself inside and I think he's like mostly looking to plunder their food. I'm taking my uh, Auric Glow Lust now. So I went this morning to take my son to daycare. As usual, my two loyal doggies followed me. And then when I came out, because I stayed a little bit longer to chat with the ladies at daycare for um, something, when I came out they were already gone so I thought oh well, either they're you know somewhere taking a stroll in the neighborhood or they've gone home and then I came home I opened the door and there is a cat in my house it's just not my one of my pussies it is that beautiful orange big male cat he uh, looked at me and of course as soon as I came in he got spooked and he ran off but he keeps hanging around our backyard now he keeps trying to come back in and I know he scares them. Uh, which concealer should I take? Let's do the Bendy Avocado Concealer from First Aid Beauty now. But I don't think the ladies appreciate his attempts to become our regular visitor. So I tr I'm trying to like shoo him away and um, give him gently the idea that this is not a place where he's welcome, okay? But unfortunately, the glorious charmer doesn't take a hint. He just keeps coming back. And for one, we're going to stop giving him food and candy because I think that, you know, that gives him the idea that he is very, like, wholeheartedly welcome. So we're going to stop giving him treats, for starters. And uh, most of the time the food bowls of the ladies are empty because they finish their own food pretty quickly. So hopefully he takes a hint in the sense that he realizes there isn't really any food to be scored here, so there's really no reason to visit. And unfortunately, my husband is also at work. Usually he works like hybrid. He works a lot from home. I'm taking my uh, Dior Backstage Foundation now. So usually he's around and it's, you know, much easier to manage these sort of intrusions when there is a human to oversee the situation. But unfortunately, Hubs is at work all day. And, you know, I'm gonna stretch it as much as possible this morning. I'm already like really sweet taking my time. But I, there's like only so much that I can do. I can't really stay the whole day with them. I really need to go to the lab today. So I'm really hoping he takes a hint and doesn't come and disturb them because they're sleeping like little angels. Lisa is right here behind me on the bed and Mona is in my son's room, also on his bed. And they're both very relaxed. I don't want him to disturb their peace. And you know, now that I've discovered that Lisa sprays, and gosh, does she spray. This morning we were walking to daycare and just like a little doggo. She was just like walking, 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 and then every other car, psh. Walking, 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 psh. 
just like a little dog marking her territory. She's a very territorial little lady. So my cat expert family, do you have any advice how we can keep the charming intruder out of our premises without being like uncool about it? Let's be cool. Like I like cats, even the neighborhood cats. Like I said, I would adopt them all if I could. And I would gladly host cat parties here every day of the week. But like I said, cats just feel somewhat differently about it crazy creatures. I'm taking my little hourglass mini over here of uh, the ambient lighting powder in dim light. I've kind of gotten a little bit like motivated now to finish it because it's just a mini and I can see that it's like really flattened over here and I'm already starting to see the relief of the pan underneath it. So I think I can probably finish this by the end of the year which will be good and bad because I really, really like these ambient lighting powders. But I also have still a full size of a Dior Backstage and I bought a full size of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which has really grown on me, I have to say. In the beginning, I thought, huh, you know, whatever, it's a powder. But now I feel quite differently about it. I actually quite have grown to like it. Speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, let's take her bronzer today. I'm going to take the shade Medium 2. And we will see once I get it how that really looks uh, on me because I think I've seen it also put a little bit more pink on people so probably it will depend a little bit on your undertone how that uh, blush is going to pull and while I was at it I added one of the Gucci bronzers because I've been lusting after those for a really long time and you know what I regret nothing for blush, I'm going to take this Suku blush in the shade uh, 08 because I think it's this beautiful, like, terracotta -y, brownish, warm, um, very fall-appropriate color. I need blush like I need a hole in the head. Uh, speaking of blush, let's talk a little bit about the rest of the Pat McGrath release because by not releasing the whole collection together, Frankly, she has done herself a disservice because I talked myself out of a bunch of the things that I wanted to buy. For starters, I'm not getting any of the blush palettes because unfortunately the only blush I want is Desert Orchid 2. And Desert Orchid 2 is in the palette that has two other uh, new shades, which are both pink, and Electric Bloom, which I already have. And it just like overall, together with the highlighter, it leans way too pink for my taste. So I've decided to abolish my plans for a palette. The other palette, the Nude whatever something is called, contains Desert Orchid, Nude Venus, uh, a new shade of Divine Rose and Paradise Venus. An absolutely fabulous color selection. If you don't have any Pat McGrath blushes, that palette basically contains uh, like 90% of my all-time favorite blushes ever but I already own all of these so obviously I'm not getting that palette you know what for highlighter let's dig into the absolute archives and go for this highlighter from Makeup Geek in the shade Psychedelic which was one of my absolute favorite highlighters of all time so I'm going to apply a little bit of that it's like an iridescent coppery red it's really really beautiful and the formula is to this day very smooth and just a gorgeous highlighter. Anyway, so I was talking about uh, talking myself out of a bunch of Pat McGrath things. So also, when it comes to those little five pans, the prices have been announced and those are going to be around 39 euros or something of the sort. And you're not getting a lot of product, like the total amount of product you're getting for the five eyeshadows is four grams. I'm going to spritz my sponge here with Fix Plus. The thing that like concerns me the most when it comes to these five pans is that we've been promised a new formula. And I don't know that I believe her that for 39 euros with five eyeshadows, we're really getting a new formula. So because of that and because of how mauve pinky, purpley that... Um, uh, one of the five pants leans. I've decided to only purchase the like more bronzy cool toned one So there's already another item that fell off my list And I shall continue telling you about the rest of the items that I still want At least for the time being but first I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to start doing the eye look Okay, this seems close enough. You've already seen from the photo that we are pulling out a bunch of motherships today. And the one that I'm going to start the look off with is going to be Moonlit Seduction. So the newest addition to the uh, mothership range. This is Mothership 10. And I'm going to go into this shade, Rosewood Romantic. I'm going to pull that uh, basically through my crease and concentrate it a little bit in the outer corner to intensify. Then one of the items that I 
still think I do want is another blush. I'm, I'm just absolutely ridiculous at this point. Nobody needs this much blush. But the shade is called Nude Venus 2 and honestly it speaks to me on deeper levels that I, than I can tell you. So I think I'm not going to be able to resist the blush. So that one's definitely coming home with me. So our count so far is that bronzy platinum cool toned 5 pan, the Nude Venus 2 blush, so the single blush, and I'm still very keen on picking up the limited edition Forbidden Love lipstick because it looks beautiful, I, I love red lipsticks, it's a classic red, one can always, you know, have more classic reds, just like they need more blush. I'm going to apply the tiniest bit more of that Rose Romantique shade here, Rosewood Romantique shade in the outer corner to deepen them up, and that pretty much sums up what I'm planning on purchasing for the rest of the... Um, Celestial Divinity collection, like I said, mother didn't do herself a favor. I was so like thirsty and hungry for that collection when it was first announced that I was pretty much ready to like buy everything in like the buy everything kit or whatever she's going to call it. But now that um, she has decided to tease us and give us spoonfuls of the collection, I've taken a chill pill and I do not need to buy a bunch of the items. I'm just going to buy the ones that seem really special and unique and you know that will really give me joy so good job Pat you have saved me money have any of you scaled back on what you want to purchase from this collection because of that staggered release she has decided to do I've also completely topped myself out of the um, tiger palette from Hourglass that you know that holiday palette that they have with the different animals? I've talked myself out of that and I'm really happy because it's now on Cult Beauty or at least a couple of days ago they announced that it was on Cult Beauty and I haven't even gone to look how much it costs or anything. I was just like, whatever, I'm, I've lost interest by now. Maybe I should uh, keep you updated on what I'm up to. I'm taking a little bit of my NYX glitter glue here to apply on my lids. Now I'm going to take a shader brush like this one, something like flat, and I'm going to go into this shade, the shade Blitz Venus, and apply that uh, all over my lid. I'm considering taking Mothership 10 with me for the Congress next week. I think it's going to make a beautiful, you know, glam neutral palette. I'm not 100% sure because it will really depend on what kind of outfits I want to do, but I feel like I can pull off something neutral with whatever outfit with this palette. So I think I might actually take it with me. We're not really going by plane, we're going by train and by car because it's nearby in Germany. So I'm not really too worried about breaking the palette. And I'm really, really curious how it's going to perform if I take it on a Congress with me and I have to wear the eyeshadows for a very long time. Like we're talking upwards of 12 hours. Okay, for this next move, I'm going to take the bronze seduction here. Mine comes in the limited edition matte gala packaging. And in an interesting twist of events, I'm going to apply this shade here, the shade VR Fire Opal, because VR Fire Opal has this beautiful, like, limeish green reflect to it over a pink base. So I'm very curious how that pink base is going to play with the Blitz Venus shade underneath and how these two are going to look uh, layered together. So I'm going to take a bit of Blitz Venus just on that same brush because Blitz Venus has a very smooth uh, texture to it. It's not a very chunky glittery eyeshadow. And I'm going to apply that over top of Blitz Venus. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love this. I don't know whether you can see the magic that is happening here, but we have that gorgeous, like, um, champagne pink shade with now a beautiful like green reflect over it. So beautiful. I might have to dip back slightly into Rosewood Romantique from Mothership 10 here to, you know, work on those outer corners. And now, just so we keep it interesting, I'm going to take yet another Mothership. I'm going to take Decadence and I'm going to dip into one of my favorite, if not my favorite shade in this palette, which is the shade Sinful, which is this incredibly beautiful, unique and stunning sage, 
like goldenish type of green and the reason I really want to use this shade is because I like I said was watching Charlotte Holtcroft and aside from the Gucci blush which she already enabled me to buy she also wore one of the new liquid lurex eyeshadows from uh, Lisa Eldridge and I have sworn not to buy any more like single like pot or liquid eyeshadows because I just never freaking use them uh, I've had those in the past, the Steel Glitter and Glows, I enjoyed them for a little bit but then I stopped using them and then they dried out and those were hundreds of euros of dried out product there so I have made it a point that I am not going to be buying any of those but then she goes on and demos one of those new liquid lurex eyeshadows from uh, Lisa Eldridge and it has pretty much the exact same tone as the shade Sinful which is why I've decided to take a step back and not forget the fact that I will probably go back into Sinful much more than I would the liquid eyeshadow from Lisa Eldridge. So I'm taking my the same shader brush actually and going into the shade Sinful and I'm going to apply that into my inner corners to remind myself why I do not need to spend money on stuff that I'm not going to use. So I'm popping this shade right here. I also wore it yesterday all over my lid. You know, I'm just scratching the edge so that it I'm cleansed. I was not able to resist the Gucci blush and the bronzer, but let's face it, I was already like halfway, like I had already like taken one step into my shopping cart and it was just a matter of someone giving me the last push to push on the purchase button. So those were not really a surprise to anyone, but the liquid Lurex eyeshadows, I really have sworn not to buy them. Wow, this is turning out so unique and so interesting, I love it. And again, taking my um, shader brush, which I've cleaned off on a microfiber cloth that I have here next to me, I'm going to just go back into Rosewood Romantic and apply that on the lower lash line. And then we're gonna call it a day. I am really into this look and I hope you would agree that it might be one of the more unique and like interesting combos that I have done as of late. I paired it with a real oldie but a goodie. This is Crisis, one of my oldest vice lipsticks from Urban Decay. It's this beautiful like more mauve purpley nude. Do let me know what you thought about this look. We are going to see each other on Friday because I'm going to probably demo on camera the Gucci blush and the Gucci bronzer. As usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!